So I know that in the past we've shared some tips about purses and handbags and which ones look great for you or how to think about them. Today we thought because we want to make you um, your shopping efficient, we would give you some tips for finding a new purse. How's that sound, Carolyn? You know, I think that's a great idea. So often I impulse shop and I end up buying a bag and then bring it home and think, yeah, nope, don't like it. So we've got five tips here. The first one I think is really important. Your bag shouldn't sit next to the widest part of your body. It's going to make it look even wider. So if your hips are the widest part of your body, don't let your purse sit right next to your hips. Bring it up, cross it across, bring the accent up someplace other than at the widest part of your body. And if you're shorter, make sure that you get an adjustable strap on your bag or get short independent or short handles that you can carry in that will you can adjust the height that way. Perfect. Yep. Yep. I found this tip and I thought this was really interesting. The weight of your handbag should not exceed 8% of your body weight. So um, if you're a smaller person, you want to make sure that you're getting a smaller bag so that you won't be... Um, you won't decide to put too much in it and make, make it so heavy that it's, it's exceeding this little tip. But you know, that's a lot of weight because even, let's say that we weighed a hundred pounds, which in my dreams might happen. Um, that means I could carry an eight pound bag, right? Yeah, but it's really interesting. There was one point I remember I was buying a new um, computer laptop bag and I actually weighed it without anything in it because that was really important to me. It weighed eight pounds on its own. So actually, no kidding. yes. So if, if this weight thing matters to you, and it does, because it's going to hurt your back, it's going to hurt your shoulders. I mean, check out the weight of the bag before you ever even put anything in it. I, that's a really great point. I would have thought eight pounds was so heavy, but yeah, I probably carrying an eight pound bag, which it is less than 8% of my weight. I can tell you I didn't buy that laptop bag because I, I didn't want to start out at that, that that heavy before I even put anything in it. Yeah, yep. tube of lipstick is all you could put in it. Exactly. <laughs> yep. So um, digging into your bag to find something is really, it makes us look like so dorky. So I think we need to make sure our bags are organized and functional. Really right. important. Think about the things that you need to carry and make sure it will hold it and that you'll be able to get after them fast, like your your keys, for example. I used to have a bag that actually had a clip for the key and I used that all the time. And, but it, and it even, you know, it's unflattering and it just also just kind of the vibe of you, right? You don't look like you have your life together if you're digging in your bag like that. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Um, so if you're looking for something that stands up to really good wear something, if you're the kind of person that leaves your purse for a long time, you don't change it out a lot, look for darker colors, maybe leather, nylon. Um, there are a lot of fabrics that look like leather that are not as expensive, and you can get a long wear out of a dark fabric, whether it's a leather, a nylon, or even a microfiber. Right. And then the most important thing, your bag should be something that is enhancing you, not distracting from you, because you really are the key to your best outfit, and you don't want your bag to be the thing that's taking the eye and take, taking it away from your, your lovely, beautiful face. Great point, because our goal is always to look good. So we can feel good. And do good.